So I'm here at Enterprise 2.0 in Boston with Ben Willis, the product manager for Saba Live, the new Saba offering in the collaboration space. And with a bit of luck, Ben is going to give us the, uh, the two minute super fast demo no luck of what all these wonderful new capabilities are. So what are we looking at, Ben? Alright, so this is Saba Live. Uh, we're looking at the homepage. It's completely configurable, so you can uh, streamline it to the, the super duper simple view, or you can have your, your users come in here and add, you know, all the individual features that they're interested in to their, to their homepage, much like a, an iGoogle. So we'll uh, jump into a few basic use cases. Um, so first, it will, we'll skip over, we're at Enterprise 2.0, which is obviously a collaboration summit, and uh, all the vendors here are going to have some basic core sets of features, right? So blogs, wikis, groups, discussion forums, you know, all the classic sort of uh, social networking stuff. So Saba Live does all that stuff. Here, for example, is uh, an example of, of a blog. We pulled in a recent post uh, from Josh Burson and had that kind of reposted by Nelly Atasha, who's our HR uh, lead in this particular system. So it's just one example of that stuff. I won't go, I won't go deep in this demo on the collaboration uh, stuff. Suffice to say that it's all in there. What I'll do is uh, try and spend a few minutes instead on some of the things that, that the Saba platform does that make it, we think, a little uh, unique and, and interesting, a little bit different. So we'll start with a classic use case where someone is looking for an expert on, for example, project management. They can come in here and simply do a Google-like search for project management. System goes off and scours for resources, and uh, it's important to note that in Saba Live, all of these different resources I mentioned are all viewed as equivalent resources, right? So an expert is a resource, a group is a resource, a file, a link, a blog, a wiki, you name it. So when the results come back, it actually pulls across all those different sets. You can see there's a discussion forum, there's an idea that someone submitted, uh, there's multiple different resources, and at the top of the list we've got this person, Aparna Ray, who if I click on that, I get a quick sort of business card view of Aparna, and then I can drill into her full, more detailed profile, and we'll get us some sense of why it was that she bubbled to the top of that search. So here we have uh, Aparna's full profile, and if I took a look, take a look at this uh, widget on the right, which we're calling the expertise map, I see a couple uh, things here. First, the social tagging that's happened in the system that a lot of the uh, classic collaboration vendors will um, will have. But then, more interestingly, perhaps the certifications and skills that she holds, which are obviously coming through from some of the workflows that uh, that Saba manages, right? So from your learning system, for example, uh, pulling in uh, formal certifications and competencies. And just below that, you can see uh, what we're calling impressions, and those are obviously coming in from the performance workflow. So lightweight, in this case, sort of Twitter-like uh, feedback that's happening throughout the year on individuals, that's getting captured throughout the year and then fed into your performance review process, whether that's happening once a quarter, once a year, whatever the case may be. So that's those are some attributes of the profile that are available to Saba Live instantly um, because it's built on the same platform single unified profile with the rest of the Saba suite. So, you know, right there, you know, single login and you've got access to Saba Live, but you're also effectively logged into Saba Learning, performance, compensation, workforce planning, talent, the whole, the whole deal. So that's one example of some things we've done that we think are, are unique. Another example is building on top of our, Cent our Centra real-time collaboration engine. So uh, Centra obviously is, is our uh, real-time capability, allows you to do e-meetings, allows you to do virtual classrooms, webinars, you name it. What we've done with Saba Live is extend that with a few important concepts. Uh, the first is this idea of a channel, right? Modeled on a YouTube channel, we're all familiar with YouTube. I can come in here and decide I want to subscribe to the CEO Weekly Address. That gets added to my channels, and then when I jump into that, I can either attend the live weekly address from the CEO, or if I missed it because I was busy that day, I can come in after the fact and watch the recording like we're doing right now. In this case, the CEO is reviewing a, a presentation, you know, a proposal that went out that won, you know, going through why it won and why that was a great piece of work, congratulating the team, you know, whatever the case may be. But it does, it's not limited to just the center stuff, right? We support uh, really any video, so 
uh, on a week when he was bored and couldn't do something more interesting, perhaps the CEO decided he would post his favorite uh, band, a, U a song from U2, and that obviously is streaming straight off of YouTube. We can support streaming videos off of YouTube, off of Vimeo, off of Brightcove, off of Dino, you name it. Um, so again, the idea here is that uh, we're, we're modeling kind of off of, uh, off of YouTube and we are extending the center experience. The other example of, uh, of that is conferences. So if we jump over to the conferences area, you'll see we've created sort of this fake Enterprise 2.0 event. You know, many of us are here now live attending this event um, in person, but there are a lot of folks, say, back at the Saba headquarters who couldn't be here today but uh, to attend the event live, but they can, in, in fact, attend, right? So what we're trying to, to enable here is sort of the unconference. Yesterday, you know, we did a morning kickoff where we said hello to everybody, and then we were streaming the event live during the day. Today we're doing the same thing, you know, streaming the Wednesday sessions, and if someone wanted to, they could jump into the, the session sort of virtually and attend the conference virtually again, sort of uh, bringing that, that unconference idea to the front. Uh, alongside the, the classic sort of uh, sessions that are happening, you've got conversations that can be happening, so I could come in here and say, reply to uh, Lily and say, hey. And we can be having our own sort of private Twitter about the event, uh, you know, in, in the context of the, the conference itself. So that was the second one. The third one we'll quickly show you is what we're calling the Innovation Lab, and that's all about bottom-up uh, innovation, right? So tapping into your talent for the next big idea, the next big strategy, the next big product, whatever the case may be. Um, we all know that you know a lot of great ideas sometimes don't come from the top. They can come from anywhere in the organization. So this really provides you a forum to allow anybody to sort of contribute that idea and then to come back in later. It can be either an idea or it could be, you know, a, a, an issue, right, a productivity blocker. And then the rest of the company can get involved in that dialogue. They can uh, decide where, you know, what are the good ideas, what are the bad ideas. They can vote these things thumbs up, thumbs down. The best ideas bubble to the top, and hopefully in the process of doing that, they're, they generally tend to be sort of uh, generating conversations as well. So there's a discussion happening around the idea that by the time it gets to the top of the stack, hopefully that idea has also been improved. Right, so the, the idea gets improved as it as it bubbles up. Uh, that's so that was it. That's a, a million. Actually, I'll show you one last thing. So if, if that Google-like search didn't get you the expert you were after, the, the one last thing I'll show you here is we do have kind of a very targeted expert search, which again is pulling in information from learning, from performance, from the other applications that, that uh, are in the stack and allowing you to do very targeted searches to find the person who is, say, uh, coaching, Coaching and developing others, holds that skill, speaks Spanish, and lives in California because we're trying to get a project uh, back on track there. And once again, we find our friend Aparna, so you know, allowing a little, a little more sort of forensic uh, search to get to the right folks. So that was a, a million mile an hour tour of Saba Live. Hopefully, that was helpful. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ben. Cheers. Cheers.